Hello, students! For those of you absent, here's what happened in class over the past week. So obviously you're probably wondering, Mrs. Autumn, why are you doing the intro? Well, the answer to that is Mr. Bruno is on a very last minute vacation. Something about I need a few days from these children. I'm sure he was joking. Probably. Really, I'm not sure where he went, but he should be back for next week. We've had a bad break with weather. Unfortunately, more storms. Speaking of storms, I think it's time we storm into this new topic. Wait, no, I need a storm pun. Time to learn up a storm. Good enough. So, back to the topic. For those of you wonderful students absent, please be aware of what we did over the week. This week, we focused on the quantum mechanical model and the periodic table. Monday, I brought my cat Schrody to school. Some of you thought he was dead. Some of you thought he was alive. No one could really tell, though, because he was in a box. <laughs> Just kidding. He's fine. Probably. We talked about Schrodinger's equation that is the basis for the quantum mechanical model of the hydrogen electron. Many people have many theories on what an atom looks like. This is another. You'll just have to trust my word until Billy can finish making that shrinking mechanism modeled after Mosquito Man's superpowered outfit. Who knows? It could happen. Tuesday we went over how Schrodinger's equation is like Alexander Hamilton marries a psychic to get the energy of the atom to also marry a psychic. Or something like that. The electron orbits around the nucleus, constantly being affected by the proton there. But where is the electron exactly? Billy, we expect you to come back with a highly detailed result if you are successful. Until then, we can only guess. Or more accurately, use statistics to find the probability of where the electron is at any given time. Wednesday, one of you had the brilliant question of why we need to know where the electron is. It's your homework assignment to figure that out yourself. Yay! Homework! We also kind of borrowed? Invited! We invited some art students to our class to create an electron density diagrams with their stipple skills. The greater density of dots on the page stands for a higher possibility of finding an electron in that energy level. The electron is more likely to be found closer to the nucleus than farther away. Of course, these stipple creations are completely imaginary and won't be on your test. But it was fun while it lasted. Maybe that's where our other students are. In other classes! Thursday, to cement this idea of stipple drawings, we went out to the very edge of the forest and started shaking the trees to see what came out. More things would fall closer to the tree than farther away from the tree, showing the quantum mechanical model in action. However, <laughs> we were not anticipating the many bees' nests which fell out instead of apples. Class was dismissed for the rest of that day. Even if we're not really supposed to dismiss you early, I figured... Why not? <laughs> Again, we don't know the exact size of electrons, so scientists assign probability values instead. The electron is probably within 90% of the hydrogen's total volume. 90% of the time. <clears throat> Let that one sink in for a, a while. <clears throat> to have a small conclusion on the topic, Friday we ventured out to look at the bees' nests that fell. Like the size of electrons, we did not know exactly how big those nests were. <laughs> like the 90% I was just talking about, the nests were about 90% bees. And maybe 90% stings. <laughs> it's just a joke, kids. <laughs> But really, bee stings hurt? Does anyone have any antibiotics? <clears throat> also, I revealed that due to the um, complications we had Friday, I brought in a bit of cake for everyone. And hey, going way back to when we studied chemical reactions, another allergy attack! Fun! We went over those notes a bit for old time's sake before going back back to our cake and finally ending the day with some Todrick Duff the science buff. And that's it kids. That's it kids. I'm so proud of the work we did this week. And it didn't go as bad as Mr. Bruno thought. I'm sure he'll be thrilled to see you all have all of your limbs. 
Remember that for homework, you must try to answer this. Why do we need to know where the electron is? Bonus points if he actually sneaks some rational thought into it instead of making something up. That's it, everyone. I hope you had an amazing week. I know I did. I will see you next week along with Mr. Bruno. Hopefully. Unless he decides to run away. Again. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> He's fine. Probably. <laughs> okay, okay. Goodbye.